y'all and welcome to today's video. I just want to do a good old fashioned haul. I have placed an order at Sephora, Ulta, Amazon, random things I picked up. Well, not random, all beauty things. Some hair, some fragrance, some skincare, some makeup. I just want to show you all the stuff that I have bought lately because I have bought a lot. I was sick for four days and it seemed like everything kind of came at once. And I just want to show you the things I bought. That's what we're going to do today. If you're curious, let's jump into it. Let's start off by showing you kind of what I bought at Sephora. I had a lot of things just kind of building in my Sephora cart. A lot of things that I'd been wanting to purchase and then Sephora kind of launched some new things. So this is going to be a mix of kind of new releases and things that are not so new. I've just had on my loves list for so long. So first let's talk about the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Gloss Balm for hydrating and smoothing the lips. I love Glow Recipe. Listen, I love Glow Recipe. I have such success with their products. My skin seems to really like them. It responds well to their products. So whenever they launch something new, I'm curious. Like I'm, I'm already curious. Not that every new product is for me and my skin type, but I'm curious, you know, and did I need another lip mask? I didn't. Why is this so hard to open? I have not opened these products. I'm like, struggling with this lip mask packaging. What in the world? Does it slide out? Well, you know what? When in doubt, just rip the box, which is good because this was just an outer carton. So here's what it looks like. I actually really like the Plum Plump line. I have the moisturizer and it's a great nighttime moisturizer for my oily skin. So this is what it looks like. It looks so cute. Again, did I need another lip balm? No, but I'm excited to try this one. Now, today's video is not going to be a try on. It's just a haul. It's just me showing you what I bought, but let me smell this. This smells pretty good. I'm excited to put it on the lips because you know, listen, you can say you don't taste lip products, but I can always taste a little bit, a little bit. So I'll definitely be trying all of this stuff in my haul and I'll follow up in a few weeks. Some of this stuff maybe in a few months, especially the skincare type stuff, because I really like to test stuff and then review it. So just know reviews are coming today. I'm just showing you what I spent my money on. This looks really good though. It says we've sourced ingredients with lower environmental impact when possible. This formula is responsibly grown. Well, we like that, don't we? It says apply a generous layer used throughout the day as a hydrating pumping gloss or over lipstick for a shine. Also use it overnight as a moisturizing lip mask. Well, I probably could have figured that on my own, but I'm excited about this. Obviously I had to buy it. This is not new, but I have been wanting to buy this Fenty eavesdrop blurring skin tint for so long and I just never did like I never did I've had it on my loves list for forever and I just I, I keep like not purchasing it but summer is here I live in a hot humid place you know like it is hot and humid here and my friend Angie and Nelika Nikvis loves this she lives in a hot humid place as well her skin is more combo to oily. I'm full on oily always. So I decided, let me try this. Let me try this. I love a skin tint. Fenty looked to have a really, really good shade range. I bought the shade 12. Okay. So shade 12 is described as a medium with a warm golden undertone. Now I would describe my skin tone as olive warm leaning, but the undertones that were olive with this foundation were either way too dark, at least how it seemed on the model or way too light. So I do have a foundation mixer. I can always mix this if needed, but this looks like it's going to be like it kind of seamlessly blended into my hand. So we'll definitely be trying that. I'm excited to be trying this. This looks good. I like this packaging too. It's plastic. It's lightweight. Like 
I kind of like this. This is cute, right? Have you tried this? Have I been sleeping on it? Let me know. I always love hearing from y'all. Again, I know that's not a new product. I'm just opening boxes, tossing them. I bought a lot of other stuff from Fenty though. So let's talk about that now. Okay, let's talk about the other stuff I brought from Fenty. First of all, I bought this match stick. Look, this new summer collection, I'm not gonna lie, the theming, the packaging, it pulled me in. It pulled me in. I think this is so pretty. So this is the Match Stick Color Adaptive Cheek and Lip Stick. This is the shade Strawberry Pop. So I've never tried this formula, the Match Stick formula from Fenty. And oh, this is neon. This is beautiful. It has the Fenty Beauty logo. I've never tried this formula. I know Fenty Beauty has had this formula for a long time, but something about this summer packaging and this shade swatched out on the model skin. I was like, give it to me. I have to have it. Look, oh my gosh, this is like a jelly looking formula. We're just, we're going to have some fun. We're going to have some fun. Oh, that looks like a sheer strawberry type of shade. Don't worry. I'll be wearing this stuff. I'm not even sure when this video you're watching is going to go up. I may have already tried it by then. That is so pretty. Oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to use this on the cheeks. And then I bought two of the Pout Sickle Hydrating Lip Stains. I've never tried this formula. So when she launched Summer Colors, I was like, I'll take two. I'll take two. So again, that really beautiful packaging. Like this is packaging for me is part of the getting ready experience. I'm not afraid to admit that. Does packaging always matter? No, but I do love grabbing stuff that has pretty packaging. It's just fun. Part of my getting ready process. So this is the shade what is, I should have read it in the bigger print. Here we go. This is the shade Gem and I. So this was more like a purpley shade. Let's just, ooh, that's pretty. I like the idea of a hydrating lip stain. I can get down with a lip stain. And then when I need just a gloss over top, maybe my plum plump glow recipe mask over top so there is that one and i also really like this is a small detail but this is a big detail the top of this is purple so it kind of matches this let's open the other one and see this one is the shade fuchsia wife fuchsia wife yes so you can see the tops are different so if you're looking through your collection when i'm looking for both of these i don't have to like eh, do like this and try to figure out the name like i can just see see the shade and be like oh yeah this is the fuchsia one this is the purpley one so let me just put the oh this color this color i'm gonna love this color i know i'm gonna love this beautiful fuchsia shade i hope the formula is good on the lips i'm really pumped to try these okay this has been on for just just not long just like a minute so let me try to wipe with the towel and see the stain again Oh yeah, we got a stain and that was probably, I mean, that wasn't on very long. Like you saw, you saw how long it was on. That was not on long at all. Okay. Let me wipe this one off too. Ooh, okay. 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 I'm pumped. I bought a Sol de Janeiro fragrance. This is Bikini Season Sunlit Orchid Guava Nectar Perfume Mist. I really like these kind of like body mist fragrances from Sol de Janeiro. I don't have all of them, but I have a few. And this one's the one that was calling me the most. This is Bikini Season. Let's see. Guava Nectar, Coconut Water, Pink Musk, Lemon. I love citrusy scents. I love fruity scents, especially in the summer. Mm. And these Sol de Janeiro Body Mist last well on me. Like they last throughout the day. So I saw this one. I really was interested in all of them, but I'm like, calm down, Heather, calm down. You want them all, but your bank account says no. So I went with this one. I went with this one and it smells very fruity. I smell that coconut. It smells like summer to me. To me, it just smells like being out at the pool being out at the beach, but it's not a beachy scent, you know, like it just smells like almost like luxurious vacay vibes. I don't know. I'm smelling it. I'm into it. 
I love hauls. Hauls are so fun, y'all. I got a sample. I always get the sample. I, I'm, I'm always getting the sample. Even if there are no samples of things I want, there's samples of something someone will want. So I always get the sample. I got the Translucent Loose Setting Powder from Laura Mercier. I'll try that. I haven't tried a Laura Mercier powder in many years. I think that's actually reformulated. So I'll be trying that. And then I bought the Kush Brow Lamination Gel from Milk Makeup. I am pretty picky when it comes to brow gels. I love my pink honey like brow glue. I like my half magic grippy brow, but my holy grail is the Patrick Ta Major Brow Lamination. So I saw Milk, which is a brand I like. A lot of their products work for me. They were releasing a clear lamination gel. This was new. This was new. So we're going to try this. I'm not going to put it in my brows right now because I do have on my Patrick Ta but we're gonna try this. I like this little applicator, very different from the Patrick Ta, but I wanna know, is this gonna set my brows down and lock them in and hold them? Because what I do not want is my brows to move. I know a lot of people are like, oh, flexible hold, let the brow do what it wants. No, my brow needs to do exactly what I tell it to do and nothing else, exactly. So that's what the Patrick Ta makes my brows do, but I love trying new products. I love trying new things. So I bought this one from Milk. We will test it out. We will try it and see. I will say I did film this makeup look probably some videos back using the new Angela Bright Sigma collection. I'll link the video down in the description box if you're curious. All the information will be there. Yes, I have a hair on my face. Yes, it is getting on my nerves. I bought more things though. Let's talk about it. Macy's was having a sale. And they had the Urban Decay Brow Blade on sale. I love the Brow Blade from Urban Decay. Probably my number one favorite brow product ever, but it's like $26 and I don't feel like I ever wanna spend that price. So I usually buy a Morphe Micro Brow Pencil. My NYX Brow Pen works great. Love it, love it. But when these are on sale, I pick them up because these are my favorites. So I have the shade Blackout and Dark Drapes. So I alternate between the two depending on how my hair is doing. When my hair is freshly dyed, it's like a very dark brown, almost black shade. Not black, but almost. After some washes, it's almost time to refresh. It'll be a little bit lighter, so I'll go with the dark drapes. So I bought one of each because they were half off from Macy's. One end is the brow pen. One end is the like micro tiny brow pencil. I love it. I'm so happy Macy's was having a sale. So that's all I bought from Macy's. I placed an order at Charlotte Tilbury for one thing and one thing only. And I actually successfully checked out and bought one thing and one thing only. Don't you love when you go on a website for a specific thing and you only buy that specific thing? That doesn't happen to me when I go to Target, but it happened to me with my Charlotte Tilbury order. <laughs> I am in love with the light ones from Charlotte Tilbury. I think they're so, so beautiful. They blend on the skin, they last on the skin. They do everything they're supposed to do. Hair is sticking to my face. It's the frizz, it's the humidity in the air. What are you gonna do? This is the Hollywood Beauty Light Wand Easy Highlight Blush, Blush Illuminator in Pink Gasm Sunset. So this is her new shade that's like a pink slash red and I had to have it. I was definitely influenced by my friends to get this one. So I like the Charlotte Tilbury one that you click it on, you click it off. Let's do a swatch of this one. I know like everybody and their great aunt Sally has bought this and I wanted to buy it too. So, oh, it's like a pink copper red. I don't know, that's pretty. To me, like just that swatch on the skin, it has this red copper tone to it that I really like. We're definitely gonna be trying this. Okay, let me click it off because this is expensive. I know this is a limited edition shade. I'm hoping if I love it, if everybody loves it, it will not be limited edition, so it will stick around for a while. But just in case, I'm like, I will definitely regret if I do not get this, so I bought this. It's the only thing I bought from Charlotte Tilbury. I placed an order at Dior because I had to have the new blushes. They weren't at Sephora yet, so I bought them at Dior. I have shopped at the Dior site several times and I've always had a good experience. I got this little bag for free. 
it's like this pink like cushiony bag like gift with purchase I guess I don't know and then I got a bunch of samples let me show you the samples they come in this little luxurious bag I will say whenever I order from Dior like the customer experience top notch it comes in beautiful packaging so I got a sample of their Dior Addict Lip Maximizer Gloss I got a sample of the Dior Show Mascara and I got a sample of the Rouge Dior lipstick in 100 nude looks. So these are pretty big deluxe sample sizes. So I thought, you know what? Let me just let me show you all the samples I got too. But what I bought from Dior was two of their newly reformulated eyeliners. So this is the Dior Show on stage waterproof crayon. I bought dark green and I bought black. So let's look. Oh, they come with a sharpener. I love when pencil liners come with sharpeners. I think it's just it's a nice touch you know i'm sure they're not expensive to make so the fact that they include them is nice and this is 374 dark green okay so let's see can we see right here or should we see should we see right here yeah oh yeah that's dark green it's more metallic i don't know why i was thinking it would be more matte so we'll we'll try this in future videos. I was I was kind of wishing it would be matte, but that's probably on me for not looking. And this is the shade black. So another pencil sharpener. We like that. Oh, what was on the other end? Oh, a smudger in case you want to smudge. I really like smudging my eyeliner actually, so I don't mind that. Let's swatch black right here next. Ooh that's pretty and that's not a metallic finish okay so i bought those at dior and then the thing that i was really there for were the blushes now i know everybody has been making vi every i say everybody like everybody not everybody but you know what i mean everybody has been making videos on these blushes i love my dior blushes i love the pink i love the coral in my opinion they are undupable i know people have hot opinions on the Dior blushes love them or hate them I personally love so when they release new shades I wanted to get them I know that they're a reformulation too but I'm not gonna buy the new pink and the new coral just because it's reformulated when I love my old ones like I'm I, they're $40 a piece I still love my old one I'm happy with it I'm keeping them but the new shades I didn't have so I had to get these this is the shade rose wood let's just do a quick little swatch so there is rose wood i saw some people too saying oh i hope they're more pigmented now there are so many different blush formulas i love these blushes because they're not overly pigmented you can build them and they last if you want a super pigmented blush there are so many other brands i love pigmented blushes too but i don't want every blush from every brand to be the same like I love that there are more sheer blushes buildable blushes pigmented blushes crazy pigmented blushes like I like that there are different formulas so I don't I don't want to see brands all doing the same thing so I'm personally happy that these are like sheer to buildable this here is the shade berry so we'll swatch that there berry is on top of course with the blush a swatch doesn't tell you a lot. It's all about how they perform on the face, but swatches are fun. Swatches are fun, so we're gonna swatch. This shade is probably the one I was most excited for. This is Cherry. I just love a red blush or a blush this tone because I think it gives such a beautiful, like, sunburnt, sun-kissed, I've been outside look to the skin without the skin damage, you know, and who wants skin damage? Not I. Let's go in with this one now. This is mahogany. I think this is a shade that a lot of people will really like. Looks scary in the pan, right? But when I saw it on the face for models, it was not so scary. Very, very pretty. I'm excited to try all of these all of these they came beautifully packaged from dior and i cannot wait to use them no regrets forty dollars each no regrets so far when i review them in a few weeks my tune may have changed make sure you subscribe so you can see okay i just realized i forgot to show this in my sephora sephora 
haul part of this video. I ordered another Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA BHA Pore Tight Toner. This is a hydrating and refining toner. It's very gentle but still effective. So I can use this every single night and not have a lot of irritation with my skin. I really love this. I'm super sad because I actually placed this order before they revealed that they were doing the like rainbow bottle. So I just have the plain one and I wish I had the rainbow bottle. But I have the plain one. I am actually almost out of mine. I am probably down to like two uses. I, I can't put this back in here, but I really don't need to. So it's okay. I can just take it out of the packaging. But I do wish I had gotten the rainbow one. And if you're watching this during the month of, I think it's just for June or maybe until they sell out, they do have this in like a rainbow bottle. But this is really, really nice. So this is a vegan. It's cruelty free. It hydrates the skin and helps minimize the appearance of pores. It's a dull acid water, dull, dull acid watermelon toner. Uh, it says you can use it in the morning and the night and night, dispense into palms, press into the face until absorbed. I do that. That is exactly how I use it. I don't always use it in the morning and at night, usually just one or the other, sometimes both. It just depends on how I'm feeling that day, but it has a uh, watermelon amino acid, vitamin rich fruit that helps to hydrate, soothe and fight free radical damage, hyaluronic acid, cactus water, PHAs and BHAs. I really like this toner. I've repurchased it multiple times and I cannot be without it. I'm starting to get hot up here, y'all. It is hot. So if you see, I'm looking a little flushed. It is hot and it is lunchtime, but we have more to talk about. So I also have made a little order from Ulta. I was trying to look. I have Amazon and Ulta left to talk to y'all about. So I bought this Bumble and Bumble Repair Oil Serum from Ulta. I love hair oils. I, I love products. I love testing new products. Hair, makeup, skincare, so so. But hair and makeup, yes. So I bought this oil repair serum with Honey Bond Building Complex. Luxurious treatment builds new bonds and strengthens the hair to help repair damage. So it says it is color safe. It says it repairs inside the hair strand for building bonds. I actually had a sample of this, a little tiny sample, and I liked it so much. I was like, I need to order this. Take care to the next level. Powered by our honey bond building complex. Lightweight, reparative leave-in treats from cortex to cuticle. Detangles, reduces frizz, and smooths. Work it into damp hair for air dry or heat style. Smooth through dry hair for finish. That's what I did with the sample. I had to buy the full size. I'm excited to be using that more and knowing kind of more what I think about it. I also bought this. This is the Make It Pop Sun Gloss for Lips. This is from Black Girl Sunscreen. And I saw this is SPF 50 for your lips. So a lip gloss with SPF. I need that. This is just a clear gloss. This is in clear skies. And if you've ever sunburnt your lips, you know it's painful. I listen, it's not a good time. So I was looking for, there are so many chapsticks with SPF. I have, I like, they're good. But I wanted a gloss. I wanted a gloss so my lips could be shiny in the sun without getting burnt. So I bought this Make It Pop Sun Gloss SPF 50. I am looking forward to using this. Can definitely keep you updated on my thoughts on that. Also from Ulta, I bought... Ever Pro Gray Away Instant Root Cover Up Temporary Hair Color Spray. So I do not have trouble with gray hairs, but I'm sure it works the same on gray hairs as what I need it for. My natural hair color is like dishwater blonde, light brown, whatever you wanna call it, it's light and I dye it this color. So I don't wanna dye my hair every like two weeks when my roots grow in. So usually when I start to notice my roots, I'll just spray something like this. I've used this before. I've used one from L'Oreal before. Usually I get like whatever's on sale. That's the one I buy. That, that's just being honest. Whatever one's on sale, that's the one I buy. This one works great. I get the black shade because the brown is just a little too light for me. And usually I can just like spray it on my roots, brush it through, and it kind of meshes. I would say if you're in between shades, just go with whatever one. It's probably going to work just fine for you. 
Okay, I bought a few things on Amazon. I bought the Revlon Colorstay Longwear Makeup for Combination to Oily Skin 24 Hour Wear. My friend Allie Dawson loves this foundation. I kept wanting to buy this, kept wanting to buy this, and I just, I could not figure out the right shade, the right undertone for me with this foundation. Now, a tip for you, if you're ever at the drugstore, because the drugstore is just gonna say, this is shade 370 Toast. It's not gonna say cool, warm, neutral, olive, pinky, golden, peachy. Go to the brand site, Revlon site, read their descriptions. This said it was a warm undertone on the brand site. So I ordered it from Amazon and like I said, all of my foundations I can adjust with my mixer. I have this Face Atelier Ultra Foundation Pro in the shade Olive. I can fix I can fix undertones. You know what I'm saying? I got that on lock. So I decided to go ahead and buy this. And I think the shade is not perfect. But with the mixer, it looks good. So I'm excited. I bought that on Amazon. They were having like a little sale. It was cheaper price there than anywhere else. So I bought it. I also bought this CoverGirl Easy Brow 24 Hour Ink. Pen. I love a brow pen. Like I said, I bought the Urban Decay, but the Urban Decay is not always on sale. I like my NYX brow pen. It's like my secondary choice from that. The Lift and Snatch. Love that. But I saw this. I think this was also on sale too. So I decided to buy this from CoverGirl. Let's see what it looks like. What shade did I even buy it in? Rich Brown. Sometimes Rich Brown that description can be red so oh uh, this is kind of a thick i don't think this is going to give me the brow strokes i want but we'll we'll try it it looks a little thicker than i was hoping but i bought that <laughs> so many things i also bought some new makeup remover wipes i don't use these very often so i don't have to buy these very often but i like to have these on hand when i need them so i bought some of these they're in the cute rainbow packaging i i just i like to have them in case in case i don't like to use these on my face i like to use cleansing balms makeup removers things like that but i do like to have these on hand for days like today where I can just quickly wipe these off. I also bought a new Demeter fragrance. I really like Demeter fragrances. If you're looking for nothing complicated, you want one scent. Demeter is great at that. I have Demeter Honeysuckle and love it and I want to mix it with Magnolia. Honeysuckle and Magnolia are scents that remind me of home. They're very like comforting scents to me. They just, they, they make me feel at home, very like calming, comforting sense to me. So I have Magnolia and I was so happy with it. I mean, I have Honeysuckle and I've been so happy with it. I decided to buy Magnolia. So this, it smells like Magnolia and nothing else. It says, be yourself, please yourself, reveal everything, reveal nothing. Imagine anything. It's just called Magnolia. And Amazon is a great place to get Demeter. So I'm happy to have this. I really want to mix this with my honeysuckle fragrance. And it's just simple. You know, there's nothing flashy about the packaging. There's nothing flashy about the bottle. And the scent is just true. So if you are ever looking for a specific scent, like a specific flower or grass or something like that, you can definitely look at Demeter. I know they have some more blended scents as well, like not just one thing, but I love honeysuckle. I love magnolia. Okay, I have two skincare products. I don't play with my skincare routine a lot. I'll be honest. I just don't like messing with my skincare routine. If something works, I stick with it. If it doesn't work, I get rid of it immediately. My face will break out if it does not like a product. I'm 35, I live in a very humid place, I have oily skin, my skin will break out if it doesn't like something, but I do like skincare and beauty and things like that. So I've been researching these products for a while, reading reviews, watching reviews from trusted creators, really like putting these in my cart thinking about them so i picked up the new i think this is new i'm pretty sure this is a reformulation it might not be new new but newer <laughs> this is the ordinary buffet copper peptides one percent multi-technology peptide serum so i've seen 
people talking about switching from vitamin C to copper peptides. I do like to kind of add new ingredients in, take ingredients out, just, just try new things every once in a while. And I was seeing great things about this. It says you can apply to that entire face in the morning and the night after cleansing. So this says it is supposed to give surface hydration, treat fine lines, wrinkles, dynamic lines, and texture. So The Ordinary is a brand I've tried several products from and honestly when I tried them, it's been several years, I never had great luck with their products. But the reviews for this one were really good. And this is a little pricey for The Ordinary. It's $30. And I think that is probably because this isn't one single ingredient. The Ordinary, when they were really, really, really popular, a lot of times it was because it was one specific ingredient. What it said is what you got. But this is more of a blend. It's a buffet with copper peptides and that intrigued me. So I decided to pick this up. How I plan to use this is in the daytime. I don't plan to use this at night. At night I use tetranoin, my retinol, prescription strength every single night and then a facial oil on top. It's working so well for me. But in the daytime I usually alternate between a vitamin C and a niacinamide. I'm going to swap that up because I've heard great things about copper peptides and specifically this one from The Ordinary. So I'm going to start using this in the day. It says, you know, apply it morning and night. I'm going to apply it in the daytime and see how I feel about it. I'm excited. I'm excited. I can definitely follow up, although it will probably take a while for me to follow up and let you know. I'm just, I'm very picky with my skincare, but I can definitely follow up if y'all want. I also have been doing a lot of research on snail mucin. Forgive me if I say that wrong. This is the CauseRx Advanced Snail Radiance Dual Essence. Does it sound nasty to put snail mucin on your face? Maybe to you, not so much to me. I, I, I'm excited to try this. This is a uh, K-Beauty brand, I believe. It says it's a special blend of snail essence and radiance essence in one bottle. Formulated with triple snail complex niacinamide, it will enhance plumpness and will boost your skin radiance. Now, there is a product exactly like this from Cause RX without the niacinamide. I was going back and forth between the two because the one without the niacinamide has been around a little bit longer. There were more reviews and things for me to read about that but my skin really likes niacinamide and I read that you can use niacinamide and copper peptides together without any weird interactions so I'm like I'm gonna go with the newer one with niacinamide because my skin likes niacinamide if your skin doesn't like it there is definitely one of these without niacinamide so it's two for the dual and then you just pump it and you mix. So my understanding is you put this on first, let it sink in and then go in with the copper peptides. That's everything I've been reading, but I'm excited. I've never tried CauseRx, but it says this is kind of like a sticky texture and I'm looking forward to trying it. Let me know, have you ever tried either one of these skincare products, but have you ever tried CauseRx as a brand? Because it seems like a lot of people really like the brand. I'm just, I'm looking forward to trying these. Like I'm, I'm going to start using these tomorrow. I've been really looking forward to it. It does say to avoid the eye area. So I'm going to do that. I'm excited. Okay, y'all, those are all the things I bought. I will show you quickly. I did get these sent to me from Clarence. If you don't want to see what I got sent to me, totally click off the video. Bye, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. But they sent me their new lip perfecter. Yes, it is like for your lips. It has ultra nourishing shea butter, two-in-one balm, plumps the lips with a shine and gives radiance to the cheek. That's what it is. I'm like, it's a lip perfecter, but it's a, it's also for the cheeks. So I am looking forward to trying this. I got the red shade pomegranate glow. I got this pinky shade soft pink glow, and then I got mulberry glow. Should we swatch these really quick? Ooh, I like this is a cushion. This is kind of a cushion applicator. So let's swatch. Should we swatch like right here? 
Okay, there's Mulberry Glow. I can already tell this is gonna be a lip product for me. This is not gonna be a cheek product for me. It feels way too hydrating, but if you have dry skin, that might be like music to your ears. There is, what did I say? Pomegranate Glow right there, the red shade. These have some pigment to them, more than I was expecting. That makes me excited to try these. And then let's try Soft Pink Glow. Oh, like a clear light pink. I could see myself using that one for sure. Well, I can see myself using all of these, but I love a pinky color. All right, y'all, that, I bought a lot of stuff. I bought a lot of stuff. I've been wanting to do a haul. I've been wanting to show it to you. I'm so excited. Again, I'm not sure when this video is going up, so you may have already seen me use some of this stuff by the time I post this video, but I'm excited about it. I hope you're having a great day. Please do subscribe. Again, I will follow up. Let me know what products you're really interested in. I will make sure and get that review up for you ASAP. I hope you're having an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll put everything down in the description box. Check it if you're curious. And yeah, I'm about to take my kid for boba tea and some lunch. So I hope you're having a good a day, as good a day as I am. That's what I was trying to say. All right, bye y'all.